Years after a developer unveiled plans to redevelop the property where the old Newport Grand Casino sits, is ready to begin to unveil its modifications in the coming weeks. The Carpionato Group first unveiled a 100 million mixed use proposal for the former casino back in the summer of 2019. 12 News reporter Alexander Leslie spoke to the developer and Newport's mayor about where the project stands now. Alex? Well, Shannon and Mike, as soon as you come off the highway, the Newport Grand is one of the first things that you see. Carpionato Group CEO says if plans and requests are approved, he still intends to demolish the old casino. These are the same images we showed you back in 2019 when the Carpionato Group unveiled its $100 million mixed-use proposal for the former Newport Grand Casino. It will be generally consistent with the project we submitted before. It'll be a compelling mixed-use project. CEO Kelly Coates says at the heart of the project, he still anticipates additional hotels, restaurants, apartments, and offices. So it'll be true live, work, play. Coates says prior to being able to unveil this new design to city planners, the city had to come up with its vision reflected in the North End Urban Plan, which it didn't adopt until last January. Mayor Jean Marie Napolitano says that includes new zoning regulations. Which should help to reflect the public input, but also should help the intent of the plan for commercial areas. The mayor says that intent was always to expand the economy by adding commercial space that could bring innovative operations and higher paying jobs. And I think we will accomplish all that. The 2019 proposal indicated 250 construction jobs and 500 full-time permanent jobs. I think there'll be significantly more than that. Okay. And so, you know, for today, I'll under promise, okay. but on our formal press release, which is, will be coming up, um, we will detail the exact number of jobs. So Coates tells me they'll be meeting with planning staff to get a formal application done and they hope to have that done in the next 10 days. From there, new plans can be presented and will have to go before the planning board as well as Newport City Council. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Tonight, the building that was once Newport Grand Casino still stands years after it closed and developers announced plans to redevelop it. We wanted to know what's going on with the empty property along with Admiral Kafis Road. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie talked to Newport's mayor and the developer today and tells us what she's learned. Alex? Well, Mike and Shannon, this project is still very much alive. The mayor says she's been advised the developer will be presenting in the fall. Carpinato Group's CEO tells me they are almost ready to submit a formal application. Carpionato Group CEO Kelly Coates still maintains that the site of the old Newport Grand Casino will be an anchor to the city's north end. It's the first project you hit after you come off from the bridge, and so it has to set the tone for the north end. Coates says modifications the Carpionato Group had to make following the city adopting its north end urban plan will still be consistent with the project submitted and unveiled to the public in 2019. The heart of the project is we anticipate additional hotels, apartments, and also offices. So it's going to be a balanced mix, residential and hotel. There'll be some restaurants. Newport Mayor Jean Marie Napolitano says new zoning regulations laid out in that North End Urban Plan should help to reflect the public's interests and says the city is ready and willing to move the project forward. I see it as a real opportunity not only to increase our area represented by the business and innovative district, but also to add to the economy of Newport, add to the jobs in Newport. Coates couldn't provide specifics yet on job numbers, though the 2019 proposal indicated 250 construction jobs and 500 full-time permanent jobs. There'll be good spin-off projects from this. So Coates also tells me they'll be meeting with planning staff to get that formal application done and hopes to have that done in the next 10 days or so. From there, the new plans can be presented and will have to go before the planning board as well as the city council. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.